With the World Cup coming up next summer in Russia, there'll be some players who are sweating over their chances of reaching the grandest stage in football. If you're not getting minutes for your club, then you're much less likely to head to the World Cup. With the January transfer window on the horizon, it's a chance for some players to make a move and put themselves back into contention for the World Cup. So today we're going to focus on England and look at 5 players who need to find new clubs to save their World Cup chances. First up we've got Jack Callback. <laughs> nah, just kidding. First up it's Daniel Sturridge. The Liverpool man is the most obvious player who needs to find a new club this January, with Sturridge reportedly already stating his intentions to leave Anfield in order to force his way back into Gareth Southgate's plans. We know exactly how good Daniel Sturridge is when he's fit. He's scored goals wherever he's been, with his biggest hole coming in Liverpool's flirt with the Premier League title. But his injury record has forced him down the pecking order at Liverpool, having to either settle for a place in the treatment room or on the bench. With multiple clubs looking for a marquee striker, Sturridge won't be short of potential suitors, with the likes of West Ham, Newcastle and Southampton all likely to benefit from a player like Sturridge. Up next it's Luke Shaw. Another player in the northwest of England, Luke Shaw needs to get away from Old Trafford to save his career, not just his World Cup chances. Be it injuries or attitude, Luke Shaw's time at Manchester United has been bleak from the off, to the point that Ashley Young is now Jose Mourinho's left back and actually got himself back in the England squad. Shaw has been linked with a move away from Manchester United, and it seems more and more likely that the left back will be on his way out. Once considered the heir to Ashley Cole's throne, Luke Shaw needs a new home to get back to his best and back to being considered England's best left back, which is what he should really be. Tottenham seems like a possible destination for Shaw, with a reunion with Maurizio Pochettino potentially saving the Southampton Academy graduate. If Shaw can have a good run between January and the summer, he could be back in the England squad, because the left back slot is certainly still up for grabs. And that brings us to Danny Rose. The Tottenham man is still in contention for England, but his position on the left side of Gareth Southgate's defence maybe isn't as solid as it once was, with injury having kept Rose out for most of the season, during a time in which Rose made some noises about leaving Tottenham. With Ben Davies proving to be a worthy replacement for Rose, Pochettino hasn't missed the former Leeds United lad, so maybe now could be the time for Rose to leave and play week in week out, rather than rotate with Ben Davies. While a move 6 months before a World Cup when you're already in contention for the squad isn't always a good idea, it might benefit Rose, with the move to Old Trafford is most likely destination right now, with Luke Shaw rumoured to be going the other way. Rose's World Cup chances maybe don't need saving, but his position in the starting 11 is no longer guaranteed. Next up we've got Callum Chambers. The Arsenal defender hasn't played for England since 2014 and represented the under-21s over the summer at the European Championships. Chambers was billed as a future Arsenal regular when Arsene Wenger signed him in 2014, but his minutes have decreased as the years have gone by and he spent last season on loan at Middlesbrough. Chambers was heavily linked with the move away from the Emirates over the summer, but instead remained in North London and is now recovering from an injury. With Gareth Southgate opting to play three centre-backs right now, who can preferably play out from the back, Callum Chambers may see the next six months as a real chance to put his face back into the picture, but the question is, can he do that at Arsenal? Be it a loan move or something permanent, Chambers needs to guarantee himself first team football before the end of the season, to at least give himself a chance of making the World Cup, as unlikely as that is right now. And finally we've got Jack Wilshere. Despite pretty much every English midfielder getting injured over the international break, Jack Wilshere was totally snubbed by Gareth Southgate, with the England boss stating he doesn't know how he can get into an England squad without getting in the Arsenal team. While this doesn't really ring true since he picked Dominic Solanke who isn't playing for Liverpool, this must have had England alarm bells ringing for Wilshire, who won't want to miss the World Cup in Russia. The midfielder is still a real talent but can't get in Arsene Wenger's Premier League team, so Wilshire may need to seek a move away in January. Be it on loan like he did last season to Bournemouth or a permanent transfer, Wilshire needs to be playing more minutes to prove his fitness. There'll be plenty of suitors both in the Premier League and across Europe, it's just a case of whether or not Wilshire wants to leave his boyhood club for good. Centre midfield is a problem area for England, and Jack Wilshire could be the answer. He just needs to put himself in a position to prove it. So those are 5 English players who need to move to enhance their World Cup chances. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.